Okay, so um, I showed you how to whip a loop in the uh, last video. Um, just the, the next step in, in making your wind on leader is to uh, run your fluorocarbon, your cigar fluorocarbon, up inside of the um, thread lock hollow core braid. <clears throat> so I usually like to run it up about five, six feet. So I take the loop, I'd already made that, that loop on here, so just take a, basically an arm's length of line. And you want to just cut that and try to cut it as, as flat as possible. And if you do it really jagged, it just makes things a little bit more difficult. Uh, the tool you'll need for that is a um, hollow core needle. So if, I don't know how well you can actually see that, but this needle is hollow on the end. So my fluorocarbon will actually go up inside of this needle. So first step, I'm just going to get the needle down inside so it's a lot of times you have this blunt end if you just tap a little bit kind of open up the threads a, a tiny bit get your glasses adjusted properly so you can see what you're doing and just kind of work it slowly and i know you're just kind of probably just staring at my fingers but i gotta hold it kind of tight because so i can it doesn't fold over while i'm trying to force it in there and the braid just opens up and starts to slide onto the needle. And so you can see, again, I'm not, I'm not pushing the needle down into the, into the hollow core. I'm working it up onto the needle. So I'm just going to get it part way up there just to get it started. Then I'm going to take my um, cigar fluorocarbon. This is actually a 100-pound leader. We're going to be doing some uh, marlin fishing, so I made a, a little bit heavier leader. And um, this leader is about 14 feet long. This is just the last of the spool. Uh, the nice thing is you can, you know, make a 20 foot leader. You can make whatever you want with a wind on leader. It just goes right on. So, because I should have opened this up first. So, I'm going to take my fluorocarbon and put that all the way down inside the needle and a lot of times if it if it's kind of squared off um, you can kind of push it in there because the point of the needle obviously gets tighter so if I push it in there it wedges into the needle nicely so I find that if I hold it straight up and down rather than kind of doing this where it doesn't bend over I have left chance of poking the needle out of the uh, out of the hollow core braid so again, just kind of work this thing up and it, sometimes it, it's quite tight depending on what size needle you have. And there's a variety of needle sizes. You need to have the right size for the right size fluorocarbon. But just, so just kind of, I'm bunching it up onto the needle. And then push it up. Just being careful not to push the fluorocarbon out of the needle. And this usually takes a few minutes, you know, so you just be patient, do it slowly so you don't accidentally poke the needle out of the side of your braid. So nice and work it down. And basically I'm going to run this all the way. You'll feel a stopping point in the braid where you did your loop where the one line is inside of the other when you whipped a loop. And that should be right around the spot I made my little blue mark in the other video where I knew where to exit that line. So run it up on there. And if you accidentally poke it through, not a big deal. Just pull it back and then straighten out the line and you can get it going back in the right direction. So it's come tight right there. So I'm going to poke the needle through the side, pull that needle out and pinch it. And there's that fluorocarbon coming out the side. Now because this is all loose here, I can push that back up inside. Straighten that out and then pull 
that line tight over the fluorocarbon. So my fluorocarbon is now four feet up inside. Now because of the old uh, Chinese finger trap, um, if you pull on the two, it is actually fairly tight. The, the fluorocarbon tightens down, I'm sorry, the braid tightens down on the fluorocarbon so it won't pull out. But once that gets wet and if it's loose, it will slide out. So you have to do one more step after this and that is serving it. And that is basically with the right tools, wrapping it and locking this together so then it will not pull out. So that'll be step three in uh, how to make a, a wind on leader with a thread lock hollow core braid. So uh, look for the next video. I will uh, set up and uh, shoot that one here in a few minutes and post it later on.